Hi everyone, welcome to the RPB Resonance Chemistry. Now let us continue our lectures on electrochemistry. This is lecture number two. In previous video, I had discussed about uh, like basics and oxidation states, uh, like redox reactions of uh, uh, electrochemistry, so which are helpful for the like uh, future electrochemistry reactions. Now in this session, we will discuss the like electrolytic conductance. Okay, so electrolytic conductance here in this class we will discuss the, like um, uh, Ohm's law and resistance as well as conductance, specific resistance, specific conductance, like etc. The molar conductance terms and uh, equivalent conductance terms. If it is possible, I'll explain the like the relation between the molar and the equivalent conductance, etc. Okay. Now let us uh, start the lectures on electrolytic conductance. Now, the, before going to that, uh, we are aware about uh, the new law that is uh, Ohm's, Ohm's law. That is Ohm's law. So, simply according to the Ohm's law, the like like uh, the conducting power of electricity or the flow of current uh, which is directly proportional to the the flow of current which is directly proportional to the potential difference on it. Potential difference on it, like throughout uh, potential difference on. A conductor okay so now here i is the like a current strength here i is the current strength so v is the potential difference of a conductor potential difference of a conductor through on it of a conductor okay so the potential difference now here i is directly proportional to the like a uh, potential difference again i is inversely proportional to the resistance from uh, like above two equations we will write the i is equal to v by r i is equal to e by r this is the first equation now if uh, v is equal to i r v is equal to i r here v is equal to potential difference i is the current strength the new term which are used in that that is called r so r is called resistance or is called resistance. Now here we are discussing about a new term that is nothing but a resistance. So now let us discuss the new term resistance. Okay, so the resistance which is represented by the capital R, the resistance which is represented by the capital R. So now the resistance is nothing but a, the measuring of obstruction of the flow of current. Obstruction of the obstruction of the flow of current. Flow of Current. So now here it obstructed the like, flow of electricity throughout a conductor. So that's why it is a resisted. That means uh, it resisted the some flow of current. Some flow of current. Now here uh, R is equal to it is a resistance. R is equal to is a resistance. So now quite opposite term. So R is equal to resistance. Now here R is equal to V by I, the potential difference into current strength. Now here R units is equal to ohms. Or units is equal to ohms. Uh, that is the units. Now here, uh, besides that, uh, it is a resistance. Uh, it it obstructs. Now let us uh, assume here it is the flow of electricity, like a flow of ions. Let us imagine. So now it is uh, it it flows the water from uh, like a uh, uh, left side to right side, from left side to right side. Now it it flows from left to right. Uh, now we will stop the we will put the some of the pole in a water 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 vessel. That means uh, here it stops the some flow of water. That means here it, it it resisted the flow of water from higher end to lower end. It resisted. Is it right or wrong? So that is called a resistance. Now here it, it resisted the, the flow of electricity, the flow of current. That's why it is called as a resistance. So besides that, now the... Um, uh, the phenomenon of flowing of electrons or flowing of current, the current flow is called conductance. Quite a new term is conductance. Quite a new term is conductance. So now here, so conductance which is denoted by the symbol like a G, symbol G or sometimes we are used with the capital C, both are doesn't matter. So if the flow of current is inversely proportional to the, like a, exactly inversely proportional to the, it's resistance. Simply it is called a, the reciprocal of a resistance is called a conductance. So here flow of current. Okay, so an easy uh, current flow is nothing but a conductance. Simply, so the reciprocal of reciprocal of uh, con uh, like a resistance is called conductance. Is called conductance. So that's why G is equal to one by R. G is equal to one by R. We know that uh, the units of G. So one by R means ohm. So one by ohm is equal to ohm inverse. So simply, it is called as like ohm inverse. Simply R. So it is also written as like ohm inverse or it is also called as in SI units it is Siemens it is 
Siemens. In a SI unit, so Siemens. That's why one Siemens is equal to one ohm inverse. One Siemens is equal to one ohm inverse. So these are the units. So now uh, beware about uh, like uh, units of each and every term in electrochemistry. That is very important thing. Okay. Now here it is the Ohm's law. Based on the Ohm's law, we will uh, find the like resistance and its uh, formula as well as uh, its units. Now conductance as well as uh, its formula and units. Okay. Now let us go through the like specific resistance. Okay. Now so let us discuss the new term that is uh, resistivity. Uh, that is uh, resistivity. So, before going to the resistivity, now here we will discuss the, uh, the schematic diagram of uh, resistance. Okay, now here, so it is the simplest uh, representation of an electrochemical cell. Now, here it is a, uh, a vessel which having the like uh, some solution. This solution is called electrolytic uh, solution, electrolyte. Okay, so now here it is the electrolyte. So in electrolyte we will depict the like uh, two types of uh, like two electrodes. So one is positively charged electrode, another one is uh, negatively charged electrode. One is cathode and another one is anode. Now here the distance between the two electrodes uh, that is called length. The distance between the two electrodes uh, that is nothing but length. Okay. Now here it is the cross sectional area that is called E A. Okay. Now here the resistance of the term, the resistance is directly proportional to the distance. Okay. Now here if distance of the two electrodes is more, then it resisted more and more part. That's why resistance is directly proportional to the L. Resistance is inversely proportional to the A. Resistance is inversely proportional to the A. So now from equation number one and two, so we will find that from equation number one and two. So here r is directly proportional to the length by area r is equal to r is directly proportional to the l by a so if uh, directly if directly proportionality can be converted into like an is equal to then we use the uh, someone some uh, some constant term that is a new constant that is called rho so here this symbol is called r h o rho okay so now r is equal to rho into l a so here r is equal to resistance l is equal to length distance between the two electrodes a is the cross sectional area so the new new term or uh, uh, rho is called a resistivity the new term rho is called a resistivity that is nothing but a specific resistance which is also called as a specific resistance Okay, so now the new term that is called specific resistance, uh, according to IUPAC, they are uh, suggested that it is resistivity, not the over uh, like a specific resistance. Now here it is the resistivity, resistivity. Okay, so now let us discuss the new th uh, fourth term that is resistivity. So now here R is equal to rho into L by A. R is equal to rho into L by A. Now rho is equal to R into A by L rho is equal to r into a by l so now here rho is equal to specific resistance now the units of rho so units of rho r is equal to ohms we know that resistance is in the resistance units are ohms now area and length so now we know that a very basic concept okay now here it is the one dimensional so now some distances some like a, from Hyderabad to Kolkata or Hyderabad to Delhi. So some distance. Here it is the distance. It is a one, di one directional distance. So one dimensional distance it is measured by the length. It is in terms of length. So if it is a two dimensional distance like it is a board. So now here it is the four into six board or six into eight board. That means a two dimensional. So now here two dimensional simply it is called as area. Some area of the board. Okay. So that's why it is the area of board. Or we will take the like a three dimensional. So three dimensional means a, a, like a length length width breadth like height width breadth okay three dimensionals are there so then it is called area sorry volume here it is the area here it is the three dimensional is called volume okay now here length units are centimeters simply simple units area units are like centimeter into centimeters that's why here centimeter squared okay so now centimeters 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 volume units are centimeter cube volume units are centimeter cube now here area cross sectional area area units are centimeter square so length units are centimeter now centimeter centimeter square cancel ohm into centimeters so here it is the units of specific resistance units of specific resistance now here we know that uh, uh, units of specific resistance quite if resistance having the uh, quite opposite term is conductance if specific resistance is there then quite opposite term is specific conductance okay so now that is the new term that is nothing but a conductivity which is also called as a specific conductance. Specific conductance. 
okay now the conductivity which is nothing but a specific conductance so here it is represented as a small k so here it is the like some type uh, different k so here it is k so that is k is called kappa so that uh, k is called kappa so now here it is the conductivity or it is called as a specific conductance according to IUPAC they are used in the conductivity so students are worried about these two terms if conductivity and conduct okay, specific conductance both are same so specific conductance means so here okay now here Okay, now here it is a 1 cm length, now here one height is 1 cm. So here it is the, like a 1 cm, 1 cm. So here it is 1 cm cubic volume, that is called a cubic centimeter. Cubic centimeter, that means a 1 cm height, 1 cm width, 1 cm breadth, it is called like a cubic centimeter, 1 cubic centimeter. So now here, in 1 cubic centimeter, particularly the flow of current, it is a through the conductor. So particularly we will find the, we want to find the like a conductance of a particular area, specific area, then it is called a specific conductance, specific area, then it is called a specific specific conductance so now let us go to, let us find the those specific conductance of a conductor okay so now here if conductance is in reciprocal of resistance then specific conductance is also a reciprocal of reciprocal of specific resistance specific resistance so now here kappa is equal to 1 by rho kappa is equal to 1 by rho so now we know that uh, the rho value R, uh, rho value rho is equal to r into a by l r into a by l then it is a reverse that means here it, it seems to be like a a by b by c by d then it is reversed 1 by r into l by a so 1 by r into l by a so now we know that so here it is the these are the measuring terms these are the measuring method of uh, like a specific conductance or conductivity measurements okay now here 1 by r we know that 1 by r simply it is called as conductance or L by A, the new term, which is simply denoted as X, which is simply denoted as X. So that X is called a cell constant. X is called a cell constant, which is also denoted as K, K is equal to K is equal to C into X. So that means K is equal to specific conductance. Here it is the kappa. So the kappa is equal to conductance into cell constant. Conductance into cell constant. So now here, what is the cell constant? Cell constant is nothing but length by area of an uh, electrolytic solution, electrolytic conductor. Okay. So now here, many of the solutions, different different electrolytic solutions in uh, depend in the like uh, different different uh, depend by the different different uh, electrodes. So now here, the cell constant value, cell values, it is not constant. So it is very by the different conductance and different electrolytes that's why so we will measure the like experimental condition so l by a value is a, a cell value it is a constant that's why it is called as a cell constant that's why it is called as a cell constant so this is the simplest formula regarding to the like a specific conductance okay now here K is equal to C into X. C is nothing but conductance. C or G both are conductance. X is equal to cell constant. X is equal to cell constant. K is equal to kappa. Kappa is nothing but a specific conductance. Specific conductance or it is also called as conductivity or it is also called as conductivity so based on these formulas uh, so uh, so many previous years csr and gate uh, like je means problems are there need problems okay now let us find the units of these uh, particular things units of uh, these particular things okay the first of all the units of a uh, cell constant so the first thing is units of cell constant so here cell constant x is equal to l by a so l is centimeters area is centimeter square centimeter square and centimeter cancel one by centimeter that is equal to the centimeter inverse sometimes uh, here it is maybe uh, used in the meter inverse so this is the units of cell constant okay now let us find the units of a kappa so kappa is equal to c into like a c into x or simply kappa is equal to 1 by r into l by a so 1 by r is nothing but conductance here it is uh, 1 by r is nothing but a 1 by ohms into length centimeter by centimeter square so centimeter by centimeter square square centimeter cancel so 1 by ohm into 
one by centimeter simply it is called as ohm inverse into centimeter inverse so this is the like a uh, specific conductance units sometimes uh, in case of problems uh, like numericals uh, we will uh, we will forget the like terms or formulas so based on the like units we will you easily find the those name or corresponding term name okay so now here this is the specific conductance units uh, ohm inverse into centimeter inverse ohm inverse into centimeter inverse now let us discuss these are the very very basic part of the electrochemistry now let us discuss the a specific molar conductance molar conductance as well as equivalent conductance Okay, now let us discuss the new terms that are molar conductance and the uh, equivalent conductance. So the first one is molar conductance. Okay, so the molar conductance, it is simply represented as lambda. Okay, it is simply represented as lambda or sometimes it is represented as mu. Okay, so now uh, the molar conductance is nothing but uh, the conducting power of all the ions, uh, the conducting power of, the conducting power of all the ions produced by one mole of one mole of electrolyte electrolyte in solution electrolyte in solution that is that is called molar conductance that is called molar conductance so now here molar conductance means it is a vessel so now here the solution uh, concentration is one mole so that means one molar so that is one one molarity solution one molarity solution let us imagine so here the concentration of solution is one molar so the specific molar the specific electrolytic concentration solution we will measure it okay so now simply so the mu is equal to so it is a specific area of the conductance definitely specific area conductance so if yeah, imagine so here it is the somewhat specific area okay so in in that specific area here it having the like some electrolyte okay that electrolyte solution concentration is one molar let us um, let us imagine okay now here the molar conductance uh, which is nothing but uh, a specific area of the conductance that is nothing but kappa specific conductance is, is nothing but as conductivity so conductivity into like a volume of the solution volume of the like a volume of the an electrolyte in present in one centimeter cubic solution one centimeter cubic solution so simply it is called as a like a molar conductance is equal to the kappa into volume of the solution kappa into volume of the solution now we know that uh, so the volume of the solution so here it is the molarity molarity is nothing but number of moles per volume okay per volume in liters number of moles by volume in liters okay so now here if number of mole one mole per one mole solution that is n is equal to one m is equal to one by b in liters okay so now if liters are uh, uh, converted into milliliters then it is multiplied by the thousand so thousand by volume in milliliters thousand by volume in milliliters so then b is equal to thousand by molarity thousand by molarity so now here the units of the solution so the volume is nothing but centimeter cubes now the molar is con concentration so molarity is concentration that is moles okay now here moles and now so these values substituted over here so k is k into thousand by molarity k into thousand by molarity so this is the formula which is used for the molar conductance measurements molar conductance measurements now let us find the units of molar conductance so here mu is equal to specific conductance units are ohm inverse into centimeter inverse ohm inverse into centimeter inverse now here thousand volumes are centimeter cube by like a uh, molars centimeter cube by moles so now here centimeters power minus one here cancelled now here it is ohm inverse into centimeter square mole inverse centimeter square mole inverse these are the units of molar conductance these are the units of molar conductance so similarly we will find them like a equivalent conductance also now let us discuss the equivalent conductance okay now the new term is a equivalent conductance equivalent conductance simply it is denoted as lambda equivalent lambda equivalent so now the similar definition the conducting power of all the ions produced by one gram equivalent so here it is only changed one gram equivalent one gram 
equivalent. So now here, the conducting power of all the ions produced by one mole of an electrolyte in a solution. Now here, uh, that is a, the conducting power of all the ions produced by one gram equivalent of its electrolyte in solution. That is nothing but a, like equivalent conductance. In similar way, equivalent conductance, like here it is the, like a specific area of the conductance. Specific area of the conductance. Okay, so here one centimeter cube, one centimeter cube. Here, yeah, particularly one cc cubic uh, centimeter uh, solution. Here, it is a uh, it is placed in the like a uh, one equivalent solution. Equivalent uh, measurements are normality. So now here one equivalent solution that is nothing but a normality solution. N is equal to n by v. So one one equivalent means n is equal to one by v per liters. Uh, one by v per liters. N is equal to thousand by v in milliliters. Thousand by v in milliliters. So now the units are thousand by like a v is equal thousand by n into that is a centimeter cube one centimeter cubic by normality is nothing but the gram equivalence gram equivalence okay now let us uh, let us calculate the equivalent conductance lambda equivalent conductance into specific conductance into value so volume per like a gram equivalent solution volume in gram equivalent solution now here k is equal to volume is equal to thousand by n thousand by n here like lambda equivalent is equal to k into thousand by n so sometimes uh, they are uh, used in the normality is equal to molarity into z factor so sometimes they are used uh, lambda equivalent is equal to k into thousand by molarity into z factor molarity into z factor so now let us find the like those units of equivalent conductance lambda equivalent conductance is equal to so specific conductance is equal to ohm inverse like a uh, centimeter inverse now thousand into like volume centimeter cube by so gram equivalent inverse gram equivalent gram equivalence now here centimeter power minus one here it is cancelled that means a uh, centimeter square ohm inverse into centimeter square into gram equivalent inverse gram equivalent inverse these are the units of uh, equivalent conductance these are the units of equivalent conductance now these are the very basic part regarding to the electrolytic conductance now based on these two problems we will uh, based on these uh, these concentration terms or uh, these basic terms of the electrochemistry we will uh, calculate the or uh, we will solve the two problems which are given in the previous year csar so that is very high level uh, competitive exam now let us solve those two problems Okay, now let us solve these two problems, which is given in 2017 December, so which is given in 2017 June. So both are 2017 June and December four mark question. Here it is the four mark. Here it is the four mark. So whenever we will observe the question, it is very easier question. Okay, so now uh, behind the our uh, concept, uh, so now resistance is uh, res uh, like conductance is equal to one by R. So now specific conductance is equal to C into X, that is G into X. Okay, now molar conductance is equal to K into 1000 by molarity. So equivalent conductance is equal to K into 1000 by normality. So these are the formulas which are discussed in our, uh, uh, our before topic, okay, in this video particularly. So now, so they are asking about if the specific conductance of an electrolytic solution, they are, uh, they are given in the specific conductance. So here uh, units are al also matched. Now the specific conductance of an electrolytic solution is 0 0.2 into ohm inverse centimeter inverse. Now on the cell constant, here they are given in the cell constant also. Cell constant value is 0 0.25 centimeter inverse, 0 0.25 centimeter inverse. Then find the conductance of the solution. So they are given in the specific conductance as well as a cell constant uh, by using this uh, specific conductance and cell constant we want to find the conductance now what what is the formula so now here it is the formula so k is equal to g into x or in c into x so here they are given the, this value this value now they are fine uh, they are asking about uh, this value okay so now c is equal to k by x so k is equal to 0 0.2 ohm inverse now by ohm inverse into centimeter inverse by uh, x value is 0 0.25 centimeter inverse centimeter inverse centimeter inverse cancel here 0 0.2 by 0 0.25 simply it is multiplied by 100 by divis divisible by 100 then it is 20 by 25 so 20 by 25 means 4 by 5 so 20 by 25 is equal to 4 by 5 simply 5 by 4 is nothing but 0 0.8 
So now here 0 0.8 unit centimeter inverse centimeter inverse are cancelled. Now the <coughs> remaining thing is ohm inverse. So this is the conductance. Now we know that uh, units of conductance, conductance units is ohm inverse. So it is also matched. Now among the four options 0 0.8 into ohm inverse is correct. Now in similar way we will find the, the specific conductance of uh, another formula solution. The specific conductance of a solution is, so they are given in the same type of question but uh, the change is uh, values are changed, ohm inverse, centimeter inverse. If the cell constant x is equal to 0 0.255 centimeter inverse then find the conductance in ohm inverse. They are already given in the ohm inverse uh, that means units uh, that's why they are they did not mention the units in the options. Okay so now here k is equal to c into x uh, so c is equal to k by x c is equal to k that means uh, 0 0.1776 uh, sorry 176 uh, ohm inverse uh, centimeter inverse uh, now by 0 0.255 centimeter inverse here centimeter inverse centimeter inverse cancel so here uh, 0 0.176 by 0 0.255 ohm inverse so approximately it is equal to 0 0.690 ohm inverse 6.60.690 ohm inverse. These type of questions, sir. These are the four marker question in CSR. That means uh, it is a very helpful, uh, very score boosting topics of the uh, electrochemistry. Okay. So now that's all for this video. In this video, we will discuss uh, many of the basic parts of electrochemistry, especially electrolytic conductance. If it is possible, I'll make the another videos on like uh, electrochemistry. Okay. Thank you so much for watching.